In this After Effects tutorial, we're going to create this 3D blend text animation. We will use some powerful expressions and techniques so you can follow along step by step. The project files are available for free, link in the description below. So, let's get started. First create a new composition and call it comp1 underscore text. Set the frame rate to 60 and duration about 10 seconds. Now, take the text tool and set the font to thunder extra bold and size about 400. Write whatever you want and then center the text. Now select the text layer, press P, right click on the position property and separate dimensions. Then search for the fill effect and add it to our text layer. Next go to composition and select open in essential graphics. Take the X position, the Y position and the color property and add them into the essential graphics panel. I will rename them just to keep track of them better and then we can close this panel. Now let's create another composition. Let's call it simply Comp1 with the same settings as before and click OK. Take the Comp1 text composition and add it into this composition. Press P and separate the dimensions again. Now, set a keyframe on the text Y position and move the text up. Then, go 40 frames forward and move the text down, creating another keyframe. Select both keyframes and press F9 to easy ease them. If I open the graph editor, you can see the speed graph. I will modify it a bit so that the text will start slowly, then move fast, and then slow again to the end. Now, click on the stopwatch by holding Alt, or Option if you're on a Mac. Write the expression loop out, ping pong. With this, the two keyframes will repeat forever without having to create more of them. Looks good so far. Next, create a keyframe on the text fill color property and set the hex code to 723973. Go forward about 90 keyframes and choose another color. This time 54377A. Go again 110 keyframes and set the color to FB7175. By the way, if you're wondering how you can go multiple frames in the timeline, you can do it with Shift plus Command plus right key or left key. This will skip 10 frames at once. Now, select all the keyframes and press F9 to easy ease them. And for the expression, write again the same loop expression like before. Now the text is also changing color continuously. Next, create a new null object and call it sliders. Search for the slider control effect and change its name to slider horizontal. Edit the value from 0 to 500. Duplicate the slider with command plus D and call it slider delay. Edit the value from 0 to 0 0.5. Duplicate again the slider and call it slider color. Edit the value from 0 to 1. Now, take the comp1 text composition and add it again into the current composition. Select the sliders layer and go to effect controls to see the sliders. Also, don't forget to separate dimension again. Now, take the pick whip from the X position and drag it to the slider horizontal. Open the code editor and set the expression to a variable called slider h. Don't forget to put a semicolon after every line of code. On the next line, take the pick whip and drag it into the X position property. Delete the layer name and add instead index plus one. This will take the X value of the layer underneath. Complete the expression by subtracting the slider h variable. Now you can see that every layer will have the position of the previous layer offset by the amount you choose on the slider horizontal. Next, link the text Y position property to slider delay. Put this expression into a variable called delay. Next, link the property to the text Y position, but instead of layer name, put again index plus one. Complete the expression by adding dot value at time, time plus delay. For the text fill color, link the property to the slider color control. Change the name of the temp variable to color. Delete the second line of code and pick whip to the text fill color property. Again, change the layer name to index plus one. Complete the expression by adding dot value at time, time plus color. Now duplicate the comp one text layer as many times as you want in order to create a trail of the text. But be careful, After Effects will have a hard time processing this, so choose a maximum of 20 layers, depending on your computer configuration. I will have a total of 20 text layers. 
Now, select the slider layer and play with all three sliders to achieve your desired effect. I will speed up this part now to let the video render. And it looks something like this. I think it's pretty cool for now. For the last layer, I will delete the color expression and choose a static color like F1C2F2. Next, create a new adjustment layer and call it Wave. Add the wave warp effect and set the height to 40, width to 330, pinning to top edge and wave speed to 0.3. Next, create a new null and call it Text Move. Select all text layers and link them to the Text Move Null layer. Now, you can move your entire animation if you want to. Next, let's do the final adjustments. Create a new composition and call it Comp 1 Final. Create a new adjustment layer and uncheck the transparency box. Add a gradient ramp effect and set the first color to 303149. Center the first point in the middle. For the second color, choose A225F6 and move the point way down. Add the Comp 1 composition and add a chromatic aberration effect. This is a free plugin. I will leave a link in the description if you want to download it. Set the position to 3 to be barely visible. Duplicate the Comp 1, drag it underneath, call it Shadow, and delete the chromatic effect. Add a black fill, flip it vertical, and change the opacity to 17%. Stretch it a bit and move it at the bottom of the composition. Finally, add a Gaussian blur effect with the blurriness of 108. Next, create a new adjustment layer and call it Mask 1. Add a fast box blur effect with a blur radius of 7 and double click the ellipse tool to create a mask at the bottom of the composition. Set the feather to around 400 pixels. Now, duplicate the mask layer, move the mask in the top right and change the blur to 4. Let's now add a grunge dusty texture. I will put a link in the description for this if you want to download it. Set the scale to 40%, the mode to lighten and opacity to 35%. Next, create a new adjustment layer and fill it with black. Double click the ellipse tool, invert the mask, feather it to about 760 pixels and opacity to 70%. If you want, you can also make it a bit bigger. Create another adjustment layer and call it not digital. We will add a Gaussian blur effect with 8 blurriness and a sharpen effect with 300 amount. You can see how this two effects made the animation not so crisp and clear and more vintage. For the final effect, add again a new adjustment layer and call it grain and curves. Let's obviously add a grain effect with the preset Kodak Vision 500T and then let's add a curves effect. Play a bit with the histogram to create some contrast in our animation. And this is the final result. Don't forget, you can download the project files and assets, link down in the description below.